They call me Mellow Yellow. A while ago, eggs had a not-so-sunny-side-up reputation. A lot of people thought they were fattening and they were bad for you. They got a really bad rap because we had this assumption that because eggs have cholesterol in them, that they would increase our cholesterol levels within our blood. So let's crack this case once and for all. When it comes to good health, is the egg our friend or foe? Eggs are very good for us. They're a nutritional powerhouse. So says dietitian Julie Maskey. So eggs have uh, iron, they've got calcium, zinc, uh, a variety of B vitamins, a very high quality protein, uh, as well as antioxidants including selenium and uh, vitamin E. But what about the theory they're bad for the heart? That's not true. We now know that eating eggs is not going to increase our risk of heart disease. So eggs are back in our good books and one book in particular. Eggs, eggs, fabulous eggs. That's the title of Janelle Rowland's cookbook and you can probably guess what each of the 114 recipes have in common. Well, I just think they're such a fabulous and versatile uh, ingredient. Having happily spent many years cooking in hotels, clubs and cafes around the Sunshine Coast, Janelle decided to give up work and dedicate two years to cooking and compiling the book. Yes, I've made everyone, I've cooked everyone, I cooked them all here, I photographed them and the worst part was washing up after everyone. <laughs> Today Janelle is keen to get cracking on two of her favourite recipes. We're having chicken and pistachio nut fritters this evening. I'm glad I came to visit you. <laughs> First step is to combine one and a half cups of plain flour and a teaspoon of baking powder. And I'm going to crack the eggs. Ah, the star of the recipe. The star of the recipe. That's two eggs. Add some chicken stock, pepper and half a cup of milk. Add wet to dry, then in with some creamed corn, cooked chicken, pistachio nuts and shallots. Then spoon the mixture into the fry pan. If you've bought eggs recently, you'll know that it's not as straightforward as it sounds. Every carton seems to have a different name and claim. So are certain eggs better for us than others? First, cage versus free range. Research has not shown any difference between the nutritional benefit of a standard cage egg and a free range egg. So at this stage it's more about our ethical uh, choices rather than our nutritional choices. As for the so-called enriched eggs, Julie says nutritionally all eggs are pretty similar. However, those with extra omega-3 may have slightly higher levels. The Australian Heart Foundation has recently uh, told us that we can have up to six eggs a week. So with this in mind, Janelle, what's for dessert? We're having rice bake today with spiced peaches. Yum. Now your kids love this recipe. Yes, they do. And it's easy to make. Heat four cups of milk in a saucepan, then add a teaspoon of vanilla essence and two thirds of a cup of rice. Now while that's cooking, beat four egg yolks together with half a cup of caster sugar. Take the saucepan off the heat, add one cup of cream, followed by the egg mix. Pour the mixture into a greased baking dish, sprinkle with nutmeg and bake for 40 minutes in a moderate oven. For the topping, heat some peach syrup with a vanilla bean and a stick of cinnamon. Remove the spices, add a tin of sliced peaches and pour over the bake. Janelle's cookbook costs $12.95 and is available from most newsagents or you can order online. There's not many egg books out there and that's why I decided to do it. Are you egg crazy? No. <laughs> I'm ecstatic at the moment. <laughs>